Wow, this is breaking news that we begin with tonight. Those powerful storms that tore through our area this evening. Surely you remember. Here's what it looked like in College Park, Maryland. This view from Sky 9 captured some of the damage left behind. That is a bunch of trees toppled onto homes in College Park. The storms also knocked down power lines here in D.C., some of them onto cars, which then went up in flames. Thankfully, no one was injured. Good evening, I'm Leslie Foster. This team always has you covered when it comes to the weather. Colby Satterfield is standing by to show you the damage on the ground. But first, this storm threat is not over yet. The Chief Topper Shutt is here with D.C.'s most accurate forecast. So what's next, Tom? Well, Leslie, we're still tracking some pretty big storms off to the south. The flooding is now more of an issue than anything. So here's the radar past three hours. See the storm south of Warrington and really hammering Culpeper and Fredericksburg. Rainfall rates in these are over two inches per hour. Just some light activity north of Dale City, but get out toward Gold Vein and Stafford and Fredericksburg. That's still a very heavy storm, not severe, but a ton of lightning right around Fredericksburg and Falmouth and down toward uh, Route 17. And then off to the east and north, less intense storms in southern Maryland, but still this is moderate rainfall, about three quarters of an inch per hour out toward Mechanicsville in between Waldorf. So they've tapered and kind of trimmed back the flood watch still includes our friends in uh, Prince William County down south and west, and it still includes our friends in southern Maryland until uh, midnight. And then this is actual flooding right now, aerial flood warnings and flash flood warnings as well. So where does it go? This last storm moves across the water into southern Maryland, and then by one o'clock it moves across the bay. We're in pretty good shape, even some partial clearing uh, after uh, midnight, but some fog could develop. We'll come back and talk about that. In the meantime, look at these uh, pictures from Albany. This is from our weather watchers from a drone. This is from uh, Tim Pruss, and if you look carefully, there's a tree on the house. And we'll kind of show you another picture, really massive damage. And even trees fell on uh, campers and, uh, and the cars. We'll send it out to Colby uh, Satterfield. She's out in College Park where we've had trees through houses and one injured. Colby. Yeah, Topper, look at this house right now in College Park. You can see it broke completely in half. I talked with two of the people who live here. They say this portion on the left was connected to the portion on the, of the house on the right. They say talked with two roommates. Their third roommate, they say, was home at the time. He is currently in the hospital. Thankfully, no one else was home during storms that completely wrecked the region. It was a storm that caused chaos around the region. Winds up to 62 miles an hour sweeping through Loudoun County before blowing into Arlington. This time lapse showing the storm completely obscuring the Pentagon as strong winds and heavy rains blew in, bringing down with it down power lines in the district. The live wires setting cars on fire along Cathedral Avenue in Northwest DC before the strong storm moved in over Prince George's County. It sounded like a jet engine. Um, everything, it sounded like trees hitting the windows. Uh, it sounded like the roof was going to come off. The storm snapping trees in Greenbelt and taking some down completely. A few miles away in College Park is where the winds broke a house completely in half. The way it was destroyed is so, it's unbelievable. I, I don't, can't even imagine what it was like like for our the, roommate who yeah. was in there and then also like what it would have looked like from the outside. Just absolutely crazy. They say the fire department was able to get their roommate out. As for how he's doing, they say they've been communicating with him, but they haven't got an update on specifically how he is doing. This is just a glimpse of the damage that we have seen tonight. Right now across the region, there are 86,636 people without power as crews are working to get the trees and everything repaired so they can get the power lines up and the lights back on. Live in College Park, Colby Satterfield, WUSA 9. What a night, and we sure hope their roommate is going to be just fine. Our WUSA 9 app is exactly what you need for nights like this. You download it right now, point your phone's camera at this QR code, and then the app sends you push alerts right to the palm of your hand, so you'll know what's coming to you wherever you are.